Okay, so now we're gonna talk about MPFL repair. So there's obviously uh, something you can also do with reconstruction, whether you repair or reconstruction doesn't matter. This is simply a matter for localization and placement of your anchors anatomically. So the first key point is just knowing where you wanna look. If we were to look and come proximally, you can see the patella there, you can see the MPFL right there. And as you follow it distally, what you wanna do is you wanna kind of follow it to its insertion point. And what you're looking for is that adductor tubercle. Now there's our adductor tubercle, and we wanna be a little bit proximal and slightly uh, anterior. And so that's actually our insertion point of the MPFL right there, which you can see it looks quite good. So now the next step to do this is go ahead and place a spinal needle right on our location point where we wanna make our anchor point, okay? So again, adductor tubercle right there, slightly proximal. We're gonna go ahead and place a spinal needle right into location. Make sure I can see it well. There's my needle. So I get a nice needle image there. Good. There's my needle. Boom. And there it is. So you can see there's my needle right there and it's literally exactly where I want it because there's my adductor tubercle there. There's the end of it distally. There's the adductor tubercle coming more proximal to it which in, and also just slightly uh, anterior. So I'm in the exact anatomic location of my MPFL attachment right now. So that's exactly where I want to be. If you want to be a little bit more proximal, you can actually reorient it, but basically there it is. So now that I'm in the perfect spot anatomically, I'm actually done with my ultrasound. Now I'm gonna hold it there with my hand. I'm gonna make a small incision. Now, how you do this, I'm gonna make this a little bit larger today so that it's gonna be easier to see. Normally I make a very small incision. Normally it doesn't take very much, honestly. There we go. Kelly, can you reach across and put your thumb on this with the other hand? Okay, and hold it there, please. Perfect. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this up, get down to our area. And again, I'm making this a larger incision than I normally would. Normally it's only like about a centimeter, centimeter and a half, but I'm making this gonna be easily two centimeters so I can see well down there. I'm gonna now spread and get myself an opened area. Perfect. We can see the MPFL right there. So there's the MPFL. And obviously on this cadaver, it's intact. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna incise it. Sometimes you can actually see that actually it's in fact torn at this region. Hold that right there. Keep your thumb on that. Perfect. Right there. That's beautiful. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and size this off the bone for our purposes so I can see. Perfect. Now that I've opened up that MPFL, I can actually get under it. Remember, it's a ligament. There we go. So I've now freed it up fully. Okay. I'm going to clean off the superior aspect, superficial aspect, just a little bit so I can see, get some soft tissue off. Perfect. Good. Let's get a better visualization. Now I can see it really nicely. And there it is right there. And now we're ready to go. Now we have to do is put our anchor in. This is going to be a knotless anchor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace, let's go with this. I'm going to replace where I can see easily the location of my, of my needle. I'm gonna basically put my guide in the location. I'm now gonna go ahead and get my self-punching knotless anchor. And I'm gonna basically just punch this in. If you wanna drill first, you can. Are we on? Looks like we're down, perfect. So now we're in, anchor's in. We're gonna set it, perfect. Now this is a knotless anchor. And so what's nice about this is all we have to do now is take our scorpion, take our repair suture, grab our MPFL, which was torn, get under the MPFL, grab it, the tissue, fire our suture, and we're done. Now, I normally make a horizontal mattress for this purposes. For the purposes today, I'm not gonna bother since this is just a demonstration. But I would normally make a horizontal mattress. Now we're gonna simply reattach it as a knotless construct. 
I'm gonna attach on now to my passing suture, the repair suture at the purple mark. Now I'm gonna pull on the other end of my passing suture to set the repair suture into the anchor itself. And now we're good. Now all we have to do is pull on this suture and you can see, you can see here in the hole that the repair suture is now through the MPFL. Very easy, it's right there. And now if I pull, it sets the MPFL into position. Boom, it's done. And it's now holding nicely. At this point, we simply cut off the repair suture, close the wound, and we're finished. But what this does is it negates the need to use any other technique to isolate the uh, actual insertion point of the MPFL on the femur. So there's no guessing. We make this anatomic with all the other techniques, specifically the one that uh, um, has been promoted using fluoroscopy and trying to identify it is much more difficult and more uh, potential to uh, miss the spot. Whereas there is no question with this. Now this could easily be done for the patella as well. And you can easily do this for reconstruction, not necessarily repair. This will just simply localize and identify the exact anatomical location so you can do your repair or reconstruction of your MPFL.